Welcome back, and I bet this face looks familiar. I am so excited to welcome Laura Fortino, professional hockey player and gold medal Olympian. Yay, yeah. Laura, I can't tell you how proud I am of you and, uh, and that you're here cooking with me. So I hear you're a pretty good cook. Yes, I am. Oh. I mean, it's, it's been a passion of mine and something that I've really taken up over the couple years. I mean, cook for the family at home and I love every minute of it. Oh my gosh. Well, I bet they love every minute <laughs> of it too. I hope I can uh, interest you in today's dish. We're gonna keep it very easy and delicious and high protein. Awesome, okay. can't wait. So this is a beautiful filet of salmon and I've already sliced up some lemon and I've put it underneath. And I'm gonna just put this over here because we're gonna dress it a little bit. You notice the foil, right? So I think some people are a little bit um, intimidated about uh, barbecuing salmon. But this way you keep it in the foil, you can even keep it in the fridge until it's ready to go on the grill. Mm -hmm. And then you pop it on the grill and you really don't have to do anything else. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to cut up some green onions. Perfect. And I'm going to finish up some lemon here. Okay, so uh, tell me, how, how does it feel to be a gold medal champion? <laughs> You know, it, it feels amazing. I think every time I think about it, it's still surreal. Uh, I haven't really taken it all in because I'm always trying to pursue my next goal, my next dream and working towards that. But I think when I sit back 10, 20 years from now with my own children and talk about all everything I've accomplished and how successful I was able you know, to be in my career, I think then it'll, it'll really hit me. And to represent your own country. Yes. I, it's always humbling and it's such an honor to put on that maple leaf and represent your country. And every time I had the opportunity to do that is, I always get shivers thinking about it. And I was very blessed to, to have all the opportunities that I did. Well, you're talking about chills and as you're talking about it, I'm feeling those chills because I remember watching that, that very special moment where, you know, that puck was going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And, uh, and what an assist that was. It was just incredible. I, I'm sure the earth kind of shook because everybody was on their feet cheering. Yes, I mean, again, when I think about that moment, like every emotion runs through my body and I still can't believe like I was part of that game winning goal and we accomplished a gold medal, something I've always dreamed of oh and we did it as gosh. a team and that'll be one of the best teams I was very fortunate to be a part of. That's awesome. Okay, so while we're talking, I don't know if you noticed, I salted the salmon well. That's very important. I use sea salt. Um, I think that that gives it much more flavor. And thin slices of lemon. I think the bees are enjoying the salmon yeah. too. So I'm gonna just reach over and you can leave those. Okay. And we're gonna wrap this up and it's gonna go on a very hot grill. And in the meantime, we'll get the quinoa salad Perfect. part, okay? Yeah. So the salmon's on the grill, and I popped on uh, an ear of corn. I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil. And now it's your time to tell me what your favorite vegetables are. Take a look at the basket, you pick. I love peppers, cucumbers. Right. I do a ton of cooking with all these veggies. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to shred some um, cabbage, okay. and uh, maybe you can cut up some Perfect. pepper. Actually, I'll join you with cutting up the pepper. Okay. Uh, I know with peppers, you know, some people just... I like your technique there. Oh, thank you. Some people, this is what they do. They do this and they throw this out, right? Because they like the nice flat mm -hmm. piece here. I think that's so wasteful. Yes. So I, I don't care that the pieces are not, you know, perfect. This is home cooking, right? Exactly. And so we don't want to be wasteful. Okay, so nutrition for an Olympian has got to be important. Tell me, you know, what, what do you eat that keeps you so healthy? Yeah, I, I would say nutrition for me is, is the foundation of everything. Uh, being an elite athlete, I think everything I put into my body fuels me and I want it to fuel me the right way. So it's something that took a lot of learning. I think it's an area where I'm continuously educating myself about and, and everybody should. We oh have one gosh. body and we want to treat it right. And especially everything that I put my body through on a daily basis, I have to always make sure I'm fueling it with healthy, clean foods. And you know what, I don't limit myself to anything. I eat a wide variety of foods. I would say and uh, tons of veggies fruits lean meats mm -hmm. um, eggs I got my I've really gone into goat yogurt oh nice I really like that with yep. some granola so I try to always mix it up every day and try new recipes and really educating myself like I said so what you just said about whatever you put in your body has to fuel you. Yes. And I think sometimes people forget that the brain is part of the body. Yep. And really what you're using to fuel your body, you're fueling your brain. Exactly. And that, you know, organ is so critical in all of wellness, don't you think? Yes. Food is wellness in a nutshell. 
beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna maybe push this red pepper aside. Maybe that can go in there. And uh, with the cucumbers, aren't these cute? Yes, are they I from your these, garden? Oh, I wish. I can't oh, okay. seem to grow cucumbers. But I did get these at a local uh, farmer's market. Okay. Yeah, so maybe just in half and then just little cubes, that would be awesome. I think cucumber, especially when it's so fresh, adds such a nice um, taste to the to the salad. Yes. You know, I almost don't want to call this a salad because uh, there are people who say, oh my gosh, it's just salad. But when you look at all the nutrition in here and the source of protein, right, mm -hmm. it really becomes a full meal. Yes. Okay, so do you eat a lot of quinoa? I love quinoa. That's usually my carb base that I like to have. And before workouts or the night before games, uh, usually my pre-game meals, as hockey players like to say, I, I usually, I've, I've switched from pasta to quinoa. Oh, very nice. Yes. So this one is an organic tri-color quinoa okay. that I've already steamed up or boiled up in homemade Brodo di pollo. Now you would know what that is, yes. right? Because your grandmother would have made that. Yes. So what is brodo di pollo? With Chicken the, soup. With all the veggies. Yes, I didn't use the veggies for the broth. Like as I made it, I did. But um, to cook up the quinoa, I, I just used the stock. So if okay. you wouldn't mind taking that lid off. And uh, yeah, and we can just put it off to the side there. Look at the color on the quinoa, isn't that nice? Yes, that looks awesome. So have you used this kind before? Yes, this is the one that I use. Oh, nice. And I actually, when I cook my quinoa as well, I cook it in a vegetable broth yes. as well, because vegetable broth has tons of nutrients, oh, yes. minerals, and the vitamins, so I'm just I gonna tend check to on my corn cook here. that in that as well. There we go. So the vegetable broth, like you said, is also a nice way of using up yeah. leftover vegetables. Mm -hmm. So can you maybe put about four scoops of that in there? And uh, my, my girlfriend gave me a poblano oh, wow. pepper from her garden. So we could roast that and add that, but I think I'm gonna add it fresh, okay? okay? Because it's gonna have, I know you said you don't like a lot of, I'm gonna use your knife for a second. You don't like a lot of spice. No. But this doesn't have, uh, you know, that, that spice that really gets you. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna just cut this. Might add a little okay. bit Okay, yeah, beautiful. And how about some cherry tomatoes? Yes, Maybe love you can those. Cut those. So some of these are from my garden. Okay. I don't know what's happening this year. The birds are feasting on my tomatoes. <sighs> so I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll eat whatever's left, right? Yep. Sure, it'll taste great. Okay, so tell me what you've been doing uh, since the Olympics and, and all the world uh, championships and so on. Oh, geez, uh, many things. Uh, you know, I think as a female athlete, we have to always find a career number two. So that is something I've been navigating and seeing what I'm passionate about and what I want to get into. So that's been keeping me busy. I've been really getting into uh, player development and especially on the female side, just really being that presence within my community to grow the game at the grassroots level. And both Sarah Nurse and I have created our hockey development school that we've been running throughout the summers and sometimes throughout the year when we have time. and. You know, this year was our biggest camp. We had almost 115 wow. local girls attend. Girls. Oh. Yes, it was all girls. And you know, it just was so rewarding. It made me truly happy to see the impact that we are making within our community and little girls just walking away in tears saying, thank you for oh. everything. And we look up to you and Tear just- those shivers again. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Just, I'm so passionate about giving back to my community and everything they've done for me. And I, I really look forward every day to being that role model for for the younger generations I can imagine what that does to a little girl to learn from you know an expertise person of, of expertise like you and and they can see themselves in you yeah I, I think that's the key and the most critical component is for these young women and, and boys as well is the <laughs> is the visibility it's okay it happens it happens, Laura, it right? happens. It's the, a good thing that wasn't a puck. Yes. <laughs> but again, that happens on the ice as well. <laughs> true, true. Yes. But uh, I, was, I was saying, you know, the visibility and exposure is a critical component for females. And, you know, getting our name and faces out there and, and seeing and teaching these little girls what is possible and what dreams you're, you're capable of dreaming. And, 
you know, once they see that, they say, wow, like I, that can be me one day. And that's, that's right. truly, truly inspiring for me to see. That's right. And to know that it takes hard work. Yes. Right. And so when they hear you talk about your commitment and what your typical day was in training, right, they get inspired. 100%. They know how hard they have to work. Yeah. And, and again, that's just like we were talking about nutrition, about educating yourself. It's just about any other goal you want to do in life, educating these young women right. and these young girls to, to pursue a dream and letting them know what it, what it took for me to get there and I can help them. So you talked about eating clean. Yes. So I don't like buying packaged stuff or, or pre-packaged. Um, but this sauce here, it's called That Guy Sauce. It's okay. a couple from Niagara Falls. Yep. They're in many, many of the stores, local stores. And if you read the ingredients, it's very clean. There's no additives, no colors to it. It's it's an awesome, awesome bar. I don't even like barbecue sauce. Yes. And yet I really like this awesome. one here. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, some spoons. Let's see maybe use this. I'm going to give, ask you to give that a little bit of a toss. I'm going to add maybe just a little bit of olive oil to it. There Smells amazing. Yeah, look at the colors. Yes. You don't even need the salmon. That's what I love Honestly. about the summer. You have all the fresh herbs, all the fresh veggies. It's, it's incredible Beautiful. what you can cook up in the summer. And because I use lemon in the um, salmon, I'm going to just give this a little squirt of lemon as well. I'll make it nice and fresh. So that salmon, you're cooking it maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and uh, the temperature should be about 145, 145. If you overcook salmon, that's where it goes really dry. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's where a lot of people get turned off by yes. salmon, right? Okay, that looks awesome. great. Let's pull that off the grill and assemble everything. Perfect. Laura, this is the favorite part of the show for me. We're going to just finish up this quinoa salad. I've got some toasted almonds. You can maybe put that on top. And that roasted corn, so nice and warm still. Just put that on top. Smells delicious. Okay. And we're ready to plate it up, as they say. Perfect. So if you wouldn't mind, maybe you can use this or the tongs, whatever you prefer. Maybe actually use the tongs because I'm going to use this. So look at that salmon, it's come off. And this is how I would present it, right in the foil like that. It's family style, we don't need to be very fancy with things. And I'm gonna scoop up the salmon. Can you tell how moist that Amazing. is? Thank you, I'm gonna take that one. Okay. Thank you, and maybe do your own plate. And yes. then we're gonna give it a quick taste. So if people are intimidated by salmon, I would highly recommend it doing it like this because it's just so easy. Put it on the grill and you're done. Here's your fork. And a fork. Okay, Laura. So I haven't told people, but we're related. Your dad is my cousin, so Ignacio yes. Fortino. And I remember visiting uh, you and visiting my aunt. And there you were as a little girl. And to have you here so accomplished and cooking with me is honestly such a highlight. So thank you so much. So proud of you. Thank you. And uh, tante belle cose. Thank you. Okay, Thank let's you give for this a try. Me. Yes. Okay, be honest. You have to tell me what you think. Uh, incredible. Good? Oh, very, very good. good. You get that lemon in there? Lots of flavors. Um, Fantastic. And nutritious. Very. Okay. Cheers, Laura. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I love summertime. Take a look at the colors that we have here on this table. Get out of the kitchen, get outside, and keep dinner simple. I'm going to try the calamari salad here. This is a kind of salad that is good hot off the grill or even served room temperature. So I was sure to get a little bit of everything. I'm going to make sure that it's tender and, and very succulent. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm dying to try the caprese salad with the eggplant. Uh, that uh, cacho cavallo started to melt. Again, another salad that you can serve uh, right off the grill or uh, make, make sure it's just room temperature. Mm. Nothing beats a tomato right off the vine. So shop local, support our farmers, and make sure you eat the rainbow. Thank you to Laura Fortino for joining me today. I'm so excited to dig into this meal. So we'll see you next time on Marisa's Easy Kitchen.